Hello, Jody here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video while I'm waiting for the bus. Um, not a very exciting background today, I'm afraid, but uh, one thing I want to talk about is accessibility because myself and Basit Siddiqui uh, have launched our new workshops where we look at social mobility and accessibility and how ed tech companies can make sure that everything is accessible and that a quality is at the forefront of people's minds when they're thinking about not just making the product for students and teachers but also within their own company ethos and a couple of people already asked me about what we're going to cover in terms of accessibility because there's this assumption that accessibility is going to be about literally every single thing that you can do for every single individual. Now accessibility is such an individual thing that it's going to be pretty much uh, impossible for a lot of companies within their budget to do something for everyone individually. However, what we're going to look at, as well as some particular examples of things you can do for particular groups of people, um, we're going to look at some more wider themes around how you make something just easy for anyone to access, easy for anyone to use. And there's lots of different ways within the product, within your help files, within your website, within even the way that you onboard schools and, and users to your product. There's loads of ways that you can look at how accessible is this. Because the more accessible it is, the more people will get on board and keep using it, the more embedded it will become in a school or even in the home if it's for parents to use and students to use. And the more things you can do around that, and there's some really easy things that we can look at that any company can do, no matter what your products, whether it's technology, whether it's paper-based, there are loads of things you can do around how do you make this accessible for anyone. Because then when you're looking at specific cases of people who need help in other ways for any particular reason that they've got individually, you already have made it easier for them to be supported by everyone else around them anyway. So then it gives you a much better jumping off point to then make it more accessible for individuals. So that's one of the main themes we're going to look at, but it's a really important theme that I talk about a lot. Those who've seen me do my Lego talks, um, which are all around how Lego does this very well and why, um, will know a bit of this already, but that's all incorporated in the day with lots of hands-on stuff. But really think about how you can make things accessible for everyone. How do you make sure that it's easy enough for everyone? And if you can't do that within the product itself, there's lots of other ways that you can do it. So if you're interested in booking the workshop day for your company with myself and Bassett, do get in touch. Um, my details are on LinkedIn or go to Jody World on Twitter. And um, we'd love to help you out. Thanks. Bye.